And I am back for another adventure, except this time it's completely different. It's completely unique. No one has ever done what we're about to do. And by we, I mean, yo, what's good? Momar is back, baby. We are back. We're having to whisper a little bit. Well, I'm not really whispering that much, but we gotta kind of be whispering a little bit because we have this giant B&B all to ourselves today. It's super haunted, has tons of history. It's got alien history, which is documented. It's got skinwalker history, which is documented. It's got history of people dying in almost every room in this house. It's got history of people literally being buried on the property. And the best part of it all, you wanna tell them? It's owned by a psychic. It's owned by a psychic. She just went to bed, but we got some time with her earlier today. A really amazing person named Heather. She owns this place. I'm going to leave all her stuff down in the description below. You guys can give her a follow, give her a shout out, tell her that I sent you. You can even come here and stay the night for yourself. Also, what is, oh, those are just the cats fighting. Oh, they're. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really scared. You guys will know why we're really scared because this place is on a whole nother level of paranormal. It's on a whole nother level of haunted. But before we get into this adventure, go and give Omar Gosh TV a follow. His link is down below, pinned to the top of my description. Go give him a follow. He's making a completely different video here. And so am I, we're doing unique videos. So you're gonna see his perspective, a different type of paranormal investigation, something that he's actually never done and nobody else has ever done on YouTube. So you're gonna have to go and check out his video. I'll leave his link down below. And make sure to watch my video from the beginning to the end as well smash like button there's usually like a hundred thousand people here why aren't you all smashing the like button give that like a hit and let's get on with this one Can't see how it's spinning now. wait it did and, you don't have and, to and that one's not moving no, no so there's no window here right now look look at the leaves there's yeah and that thing will just like it'll just start spinning like crazy it's funny because you were talking about it yeah. There must be. Now it's going there's 100% an en energy source, like literally right here. Yeah. You're right. And like that chain isn't moving. There's a chain over there on the tree. There's. There's like super what? still. It's one of those weird, rainy, you know, nights where there's like no wind. Oh, 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 dude, look at the cup. Look at the cover. Look at the cover. Oh, wow. That that just started moving on its own right now. <laughs> like right after you did your intro. Right, right after the intro. You should have kept recording. Oh, but I got it though. I got it moving. I, I saw it literally just starting to move this string thing here. Okay, so here's the thing. This place has a lot of spears, a lot of ghosts laying around. I actually used my SLS camera and I got a figure literally sitting here on the chair. Earlier throughout the day, we were investigating. We're kind of checking out the place with the owner, with Heather. She was showing us around, showing us all the tombstones that are like secretly buried on the property. And then all of a sudden, I'm walking by the house, I see a male figure standing in the kitchen. I'm like, hey, is that your husband? She's like, my husband is not here. And sure enough. Spooked me out, man. <laughs> yeah, freaked out Omar. And uh, like I said, you guys can see his perspective of what happened, because I wasn't filming during that moment. So I took my SLS camera, and I'm about to show you guys what I caught in the kitchen. This thing was massive. It started off small, it grew really, really large, and then it grew a friend. It like literally spawned a friend right by the bear, by the Chucky doll. It's a really creepy kitchen. There are definitely spirits here. And we have this place to ourselves all night long. Having the whole upstairs. The whole upstairs. Oh my yeah. God. Dude, I cannot wait to show you guys what's upstairs. <sighs> Bro. We're going to have to save the best for last, okay? Yeah. What? I got an idea. What? Hide and seek? We should play a game up there. Bloody Mary? Why not? Yo, okay. I've never played Bloody Mary in a haunted house. We've definitely never played Bloody Mary in a psychic's house. I'm sure Bloody Mary's never been played in this house. And this house is old, oh. 1830s. What was that? Did the light just flicker? Or a light turn on or off or something? Maybe that light turned on out there. Why would that light just turned on all of a sudden? Okay guys, so look, look, look at this place. Like, I'm gonna show it to you around as we investigate. I'm not just gonna walk around and show you guys the house like we usually do. We're just gonna go jump right into it. There's gonna be B-roll shots. There is actual b-roll shots there. animals hanging on the walls check this out though real quick this is the book that heather the owner wrote and this is a woman that she's seen here which she, she wrote a whole book and she drew the woman before she, she had to even see her yeah right right this portrait, which is actually in, is it upstairs or right here? It's upstairs, I think. 
No, it's, or, it's, it's in this room. Yeah, let's show them the room. Guys, look at this room. It's so cool. Uh, let me turn the lights on a little bit so y'all can see. There's animals everywhere, first of all. Really cool. There's the portrait. And this is the portrait. So Heather actually showed me a picture that she's dr drawn herself way before she got this portrait. Like one day her friend shows up and is like, hey, I got this portrait. And Heather's like, oh my God, I literally just drew something from my own imagination. And it's identical to that thing. Now I did see the picture earlier, but you guys can see that in Omar's video. You, you filmed the picture in your video, right? You showed it? This picture? Yeah, yeah. like her, her actual drawing. Um. I don't remember. I think maybe did. I don't think I did. Hmm. I, I think, think she was just showing it to us. I think she showed it to us. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There was a lot that we didn't film that she was just kind of explaining some of the history here. But there was a woman that she was like being tortured in here or something. Like something wasn't letting her have a baby. A baby. Yeah. I, I, I can't remember off the top of my head the exact story, but she ended up having a baby later on. But something in this room would hold her down and almost. I don't know the exact like story, but it was like it would, it would like hold her down and not let her, let her have children or something like that. It would try to take away her babies. It would take, yeah, and it actually did. She, oh, she had miscarriages. She had miscarriages. Now, I actually know someone. I'm not gonna name who that had three miscarriages, and every time she has a miscarriage, there was a demon or a spirit holding her down in bed. She would have a nightmare and she would wake up from a miscarriage. It's almost like a Whoa. female was attacking her in the night taking away her baby. So that happened in this room several times on different occasions. And you can feel this heaviness. Unbelievably crazy. Also guys, there is a lot of natives buried here. We are in New York, just by Buffalo. Uh, are we in Buffalo? We're not in Buffalo, are we? No, we're in a town called Gasport. Gasport. Which is uh, real close to Lockport. It's kind of a suburb of... And we're like Buffalo. really close to Canada here too. It's like a four hour drive to my house in Ottawa. Yeah, there's a lot of, you know, history of natives dying here. A lot of burial grounds and uh, skinwalkers. Just everything that you can possibly think of when it comes to paranormal, aliens, haunted, is in this area. And this house has seen it all. This house was built in the 1830s or 1840s, I think. Don't quote me on that. It's seen a lot of death as well. Like there's almost like a death in every room. There's the green room, the gold room, the red room. Wait till you see the clown room. Unbelievable. Everything in this house is pretty much original too. From the wood, to the floors, to the walls. They've literally left everything untouched. You just, you know, touched up some paint here and there. Covered yeah, the up some- The and moldings are all original. Everything's original. And, like we've been to so many places, dude. Like, like honestly, like I no disrespect to the Winchester Mystery House. We've been there, but I, I like this better. Me too. It's weird, right? And the decorations, like she did such a great job decorating this place. It, it feels like you're back in time. Yeah, and there's really there's so much stuff here, which we're gonna show you guys throughout the video through B-rolls and- And there's and, a lot of haunted uh, things here. Yeah, a lot of haunted objects. There's a haunted mirror. Oh, oh dear God, oh dear God. Oh, 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 oh. What was that? What? Dude, I just seen a man peeking at me from the kitchen. No. Well, wait, maybe her husband just got home? No, we would have heard him. We would have seen a car pull up or something. So she does allow people to come here and investigate. You Wait. obviously have to pay. What? Isn't this where you saw the? This is where I saw the man. Well, I mean, it's it's good that nothing's. Oh, hey. Who's that a cat? Right. Right, right by the cabinet under Chucky. And that's that's exactly where I seen the figure. That's exactly where I seen the figure. Look at that. Look. Oh, and we had a map doll, of course, shaped more like a green one, which I've never seen, and a rider on it. But you've Maybe never, oh my god, this thing's like growing taller. Oh, it's exactly where I see the, the, the guy. Are you recording it? Yeah, I'm recording it. Hi. Hello. Whoa. Curtis, is that you? Can you like jump over to the other side of the room? To, towards the table? But look how big it's Yeah, and you remember how small it started? And you know, oh! oh. Oh, Hi guys. Okay, we got two of them. Hey guys, it's a party. Oh my god, that's so cool. Hi, hello. <laughs> this Hi guys. Is so interesting. What are you guys up to? You guys want to party? We're going to be here all night tonight. Oh no. Yeah, we filmed I Have It. It was super crazy. Like two people, like, it's so weird. So that couch in there, that little library room. And they're gone. And at any time, dude, any time I'm sitting on that couch, because we were sitting on that couch by the cats, it, it looked like something was like leaning over and looking at us. And she told us, this is what happens here. There's always something in the kitchen. So there's this bear with like a Chucky doll, as, as you guys can see over here. 
um, this isn't what I saw. We were outside of that door in the field, and I looked in through the window, and I seen a man standing right here. Yeah, because you can't even see the bear from that window. Yeah, and this is where I used the SLS camera, and the SLS camera, there was a figure here. It started off small, then it got really big, and then another one appeared right by this Ouija board um, table here. Like, look at this. This could be why there's like, you know, there's things popping up here from this. Well, I will say this too. This one thing that Heather shared with us is there's a lot. What was that? Something's moving over there. It's like something's creaking on the door. Oh, again, there it is. Okay, no, I think that's this thing. What is that? So they do several seances here in the house. And even before her, people would come here with Ouija boards, conjure things up. So this place is a cesspool when it comes to spirit activity. I mean, there's so much that happens within these walls. Now, off to the right over there is now everything is pretty much original here but when they put up a wall here to build a bathroom a lot started happening they do say sometimes that spirits don't like when you alter their house especially an old house like this but this is this is where you saw that ginormous figure was right here and this is where the wall was put yeah this is like a portal type thing kind of and you know look at look at what's on the wall too these are kind of like demonic things like to me, they look kind of demonic. I don't know if they do. Oh, look at that one. Look, you got this like lady with these devils underneath her. Oh, another thing Heather said too, is she got scratched in here. And That's it was right, right around the that. time that they were putting this wall up. There was so much information coming for us today. I just, I, I couldn't keep up with it. Just like, it's a like content overload. Wait till you guys see what's in the basement. Oh. It's like, <laughs> dude, the basement's cool. <laughs> the basement's cool. Oh man. So this is kind of where I seen on the, SLS, like a figure standing here by this bear, and yes, this is Chuck, Chucky being held up by a bear, which is pretty interesting. So it wasn't in that hall? It was. I saw the dude, where I saw the dude was kind of like here. Okay. I kind of like, not, not in there, no, it was kind of like here in front of the bear. And I, I legit thought it was her husband. I was like, hey, here, is that your husband in there? She's like, no, there's not anyone in the house. He's not here. He's at work. He's going to be gone late. She was definitely confused when Mo mentioned that. I like, I wasn't recording or anything. I just literally, we were walking and talking with her and I had seen it, but I proved that there is a spirit in that kitchen and it was probably the dude. What was that? It was probably the dude that I caught on the SLS camera. So we were asking about, you know, if there's some haunted things in the house and she let us have access. This is her office, Heather's office. Yeah, no one's usually allowed in here. Right. This is cool. unless she's doing business. Like she she let she let us use this place. So big shout out to Heather guys. Super cool. She does like Reiki healing. Reiki healing, yeah. And also I mean just look at this. So Ouija board right there. She was telling us how this bassinet is haunted as well. This baby carriage is haunted and something something kind of terrible. I can't remember the exact story. Do you remember what she was No, doing? because there were so many. There were so, so many stories. We're going to have to come back here and do more episodes yeah, in the near future. No, for sure. Yeah, like this place, it's a must. And if you guys want that, make sure to smash that like button. Like, definitely smash it and definitely go give Heather a follow and uh, just show her some love and support, man. She's, you know, letting us use this place while literally she's asleep in her bedroom. Look at this. It's a ginormous Ouija board table. Whoa. Okay, this must explain a lot of the... Uh, the ghostly activity here. There's an there's an entire Ouija board table here, and a crystal ball. And you got some skulls, animal skulls. Look at these planchy, dude. Like, wait, does that does that really work? Okay, next time we come back here, we gotta play the Ouija board on this table. Nah, <laughs> you, you, you can play by yourself. Did I just see what? I looked into my screen and I thought I seen, it could have been that plant. Okay, my eyes are playing tricks on me. It's super late. We've been here all night just kind of like looking around and a lot of paranormal did happen to us off camera today that we didn't capture unfortunately because we were just talking and getting to know Heather and getting to know the place and seeing this. Let me show you guys the dining room here quickly. Maybe we'll capture something in here. So there is this bathroom over there. Check out this. First of all, look at this. Is this not the coolest looking dining room ever? Really creepy, but there is this bathroom in here with a haunted mirror and i kind of want to come in here and spend some time not on the toilet but looking at this mirror so this you guys know me you know my story with haunted mirrors i'm terrified of them i don't like them and imagine just coming in here turning off the lights and just staring into the mirror what's going on 
Were you in here a little bit ago? I mean, <laughs> it wasn't me, it was the ghost, bro, I swear to God. Christ. <sighs> the cat scared me, it came out of nowhere. So yes, there is a monkey in here. It is, um, it's well tamed, it's well behaved, and it, it won't attack us, so just good monkey. Dude, it looks like it's crying. There's literally a monkey in here, and it, it, it looks like it's crying. What if the soul is like trapped in there? Dude, this monkey's over 100 years old, apparently. Yeah. Man, so, so cool. Sad. So let's take you guys upstairs and show you um, what's upstairs before we investigate down in the basement. So I'm gonna go upstairs. We're gonna actually take the SLS camera. Okay, so we're about to go upstairs and use the SLS camera. Um, she tells me she's used it here in her house before and she's caught figures upstairs. Now earlier, when we were um, going upstairs just checking the place out, I kid you not, she was about to open her lips and I'm talking about Heather and tell us that people get choked in that hallway and they start to have a heavy feeling. And what happened to me before she even said anything? You were like, bro, it is heavy up here. I can't breathe and it's like heavy mm -hmm. up there. So I'm eager to see if the SLS is gonna map anything. Just for the record, I'm gonna map out this doll over here. Look at this. It won't map out a mannequin. Oh, it's got something beside it though. Whoa. Something right next to the mannequin. Oh my God, what is that? Wait. Right on the right oh, on this door here, on the left. There's something standing and like hanging itself Why on the door. Why is it like opposite? Dude, it looks like it's hanging and it's like struggling. Like it's showing a mirrored image. Yeah, so when the, the way the SLS films, it films mirrored. Okay. So yeah, so it shows this guy on that side. Because I was trying to look over there. Yeah. But this creature, whatever we're mapping right now, it's literally at this door here on the left. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? Oh, it went away. And this, and this proves my theory. People will say like the SLS is fake because it maps out like dolls, but it doesn't. It doesn't, yeah. I literally just tried to map out this Abraham Lincoln guy. I think it's Abraham Lincoln, I don't know. But it, it's not, so this is cool. Let's go upstairs. Maybe this ghost figure went upstairs or something. Instant, instant heaviness, instant. Oh my God. All right, so we are in the upstairs area. It looks mega creepy up here. And that thing records? Yeah, it's recording right now. Sweet. Is there anything here at the top of the staircase? You wanna show yourself? Come talk to us. We wanna hang out with you. I think I know why it's heavy up here. Why? I mean, for several reasons, but... Did you take a poop up here? I did. <laughs> but no, listen, for real, in all seriousness, I, I want to read. Heather didn't even, like, share this with us. I, I did it with... I mean, there's so much information she gave us already. But look at this portrait. So, it says, The woman in the photograph was the wife of John Keevil, who was killed in the Civil War. The veterans of the Civil War from Wisconsin said that if Miss Keevil lives to be a hundred years old, we're gonna celebrate her birthday. So on her 100th birthday, they bought her this chair and footstool. Wow. They went to her home and presented her with these gifts and took her photo. And that's the photo that's right here. Is this the chair that I'm sitting in? No. It's right there. Oh, that's the chair. She died four months later. I thought at first, I'm like, what? what is this doing here? And then I look a little closer. I'm like, that chair looks awfully familiar. That's that chair. <laughs> is it actually it? Yeah, dude, 100%. That is the chair. It that's would just look chair. shinier and newer back then. Right. Right? The Civil War, bro. Like Civil War era. Like we're looking at like major part of history right there. That's awesome. The people that lived here back in 18, what is that, 85? They wrote their name on the wall and it's still here. Like this isn't something that's fake or someone did. 1885. 1885, what's the name again? It was uh, Flo, Ru Ru Ruse, I, I forgot the last name. Yeah, I don't know. But also she, <gasps> oh, you got something? We, ha we had something, I, I just wasn't paying attention. It was right over the I chair. Know. It was right over the chair. Right over the chair? Are you yes. serious? Let's Don't go it, too far back. Let's see if it comes back. Hey, come back. Spirit of the chair. Do you want to come back and communicate with me? Maybe it's Miss Kyvel.
What's her name? So it doesn't say her name. It just says Miss Kybel. But her her husband's name was John. John. But she was 100 years old. Hey, do you miss John? Do you miss John at all? Just a question. I'm not trying to, like, anger you or anything, but if you miss John, come back and sit in your chair and show yourself. So it was mapping something standing on the wall. I mean, I'm going to be looking. Oh, 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 oh. Right at the door. That door here on the left. That thing is massive, dude. What the hell is that? Wait, you mean the door on the right? It's showing your left. That that door there. It's this door. Yeah. So it's to my left. Wait. It, it just it went inside the room, dude. That's the most haunted room they say. That's the green, the green room. room. Oh my god, no way! And it went into the green room. Ooh. What happened in here again? Someone no. Someone died in here, I think. I think it was one of the, the homeowners, like the main homeowner. He, and then, so someone died on this bed, and then someone died in the bed in that room, too. But they were on bed rest for quite a while. Oh, okay, I remember this story. Oh, so, oh, it's right on the bed. Oh. It's right on top of the bed. Oh, it went away. It was right on the bed by that pillow, standing on the bed. Oh, wow. Let me get a bit of uh, room here. Wasn't it a horse accident? Like, the guy had a horse fall on him. And then he ended up like having internal bleeding. Yeah, he and died he, like a few days later or something right, like that. It was like a couple weeks later, but he died in this this very area. Hey, come on back. Whoever was just here, come on back. That was the saddle for the horse right there. That was the actual that, saddle. That's the actual one. Sitting right there on the on this little mantle thing. Dude, whatever it is, it's it's either scared of us or it's playing tricks on us. Like it doesn't want to come back. Right? Like I'm not getting it. I would really appre- Oh my god! What? Where it was standing, there's footprints! Look at that! Whoa! There's actual prints! This bed was well made b before! Yeah, it was! Look at that! It was standing here and that's where exactly where I caught the damn thing! Bro! Right behind you is that suitcase from Auschwitz! Oh my god! You're right! There's a- oh, How do we forget that? So in this did closet, I, did I say that right? Auschwitz. Auschwitz. Yeah. And oh, the lights just dimmed. What the hell is, it? dude? When I touched the door, when I touched the door for the Auschwitz closet, so there's a suitcase in here that actually came from Auschwitz, the prison where the Nazis were holding all the Jews when they were taken to the concentration camp, and someone brought it back from there. It was a family of Jews that immigrated back to the USA after they were released from Auschwitz, but that suitcase didn't belong to them. It belonged to another family that was killed. So something could have attached itself from Auschwitz, brought itself here to the US, and here it is right here. Check it out, guys. This is exactly it. This is a suitcase that came from Auschwitz. And you wanna know something funny? Anyone that ever came in contact with this, like the old previous owners, they all died because of it. One person committed suicide on overdose. Another person died from some weird illness or disease. And then somebody was murdered. And some, Yeah, exactly. Somebody was murdered. And we only know that because the person that Heather bought this from said, hey, you're going to need to know like what's going on. We got some history to tell you about this suitcase, you know, just in case. So she's kind of kept it up in here, locked up. A lot of things happen. We don't know. I mean, this room was already haunted. Is it a lot worse now because of this suitcase? I believe so. I'm gonna just stand back. Oh, Omar? What? Don't panic. That lamp to your right uh -huh. is standing right there above the pillow. What? Right there. I got you mapped out uh -huh. and I got it mapped out. There's two beings, you and whatever the hell is standing on top of the pillows. I'm it's scared. Like, what, what does it feel like? Oh, oh, it just went away. I was gonna ask you, what does it feel like? Does it feel like, put your hand over there, see if it comes back. Like, reach out, reach out. I ain't put my hand over Here, there. Pass me that camera, just do it, do it. I'm telling you, dude, you might feel a coldness, you might feel something. Let me know what you feel. Oh, it's laying on the bed. Oh my God, it's laying on the bed right in front of you. It's actually right laying here? on the, yeah, it's actually laying. Holy crap, it's stretching itself across the bed. Oh my God, look at this. Oh. Dude. Am I touching a ghost right now? You're literally, it looks like you're touching his butt. Like, I'm not even joking. Wait, so he's like over here. Yeah. Oh, bro. No lie. I'm like, you're going to have to come feel this. It feels like, like static electricity running through my hands right now. Okay. I like, want I'm you not to, even joking. Okay. I want you to come here slowly. Take the SLS yeah, 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 from yeah, me. I want you to feel this. I and I'll take the this. camera. 
Look at this. Look at my SLS camera. There, it's literally laying on the bed. Oh my god. And look at how the bed's kind of getting like um, disgruntled. So careful, don't shake it too much. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Go oh my you. god. Go touch it, bro. I'm telling you. It's, All right. It's... I, I'm gonna come in slow. And you know it came back when we opened the door, right? Is it still there? It's still there. Oh. <gasps> it's cold. Go a little bit closer, like towards the the like the gray pillow. Or green pillow. Dude, I'm not oh, making... it moved right when you did that. Where'd it go? It's still there, but it, it was like... It shifted? It like moved away from your hand. Bro, I'm not making this up. It feels like there's something really cold here. Like there's a cold energy. Oh my God, it gets colder over here. What's over here right now? What am I touching? Um, You're touching its like knees or something. Give us a sign that you're real. Please make something move, turn off, something... Close a door, spirit, whatever you are. Do you speak English? It's probably dude, oh K two. What is if the key went off? No, no. I want to see if it does go off here. Is it still here? So remember they were saying that they got some strange language that came in through their spirit box. Yeah. And they looked it up and it was like a Polish language or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I do have a spirit portal which we should try out later on tonight. No doubt. Is the figure still on the bed right now? It's still on the bed. It's it's almost like it looks <laughs> like it's suffering. Oh my god, it makes sense. You hit the nail on, on the head. It's suffering. Who was suffering in this bed? The man was. The man that fell off the horse. Yeah. We're, we're literally seeing that man right now. He's like moving everywhere, like, like almost like if he's in antagonizing pain. So that's what we're seeing right now. We're seeing the man. Oh my god. Oh uh, my god, you know what he's trying to do? That's a residual haunting, bro. Yeah, and you know what he's trying to do? He's touching the K2. He's trying to get energy from the K2. Maybe. He's trying to with pull the energy yeah, out. Yeah, he's touching the K2 yeah. now. Look at that. Oh, man. Can you make the K2 go off? Like, make it glow? Why isn't it glowing? You can do that, you know. You have the power to do it. Maybe it's like two ghosts getting freaky. Look at the crystal ball. The crystal balls on the lamps just started moving. Oh, dang. The crystal balls on the lamp are moving. I don't know if the camera's picking up on this. It is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my, I gotta get that. I gotta get that. Okay, I just touched it by my with my knee and I messed it up. Dude, they were moving. I saw it moving. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, no, I saw it moving. Bro, this thing has not left the bed. It's like in the middle of the bed. Like, it's just, it's one person in pain like that's what i'm feeling and that's really is interesting you know why because anything we've mapped out here shows itself for a couple seconds maybe 30 seconds at the max and then disappears and this dude is still, it's still here there. and you know what i've moved a few times from my like location and come look it's still there it's like spread across the bed oh my god dude look at that are all can you can you do me a favor can you go all the way there by that rocking chair and just keep it aimed at the bed let's see what yeah. happens oh <gasps> Bro, something else just went on the, something else just like came out of the closet or something. No. I swear. Oh, you know what she told me? Huh. She told me they've caught figures in here having sex. Like actually on the SLS. Is that what's happening right now? Maybe with hair getting freaky. Dude, it's not uncommon. Like I've seen it before, but that, that, <laughs> there's so much here. Like, like I'm saying, we've just scratched the surface of this place. There's so much paranormal, there's so much happening. Every room, there's something different. Let's move on to a different room now. Like we can be here all night long and we'll capture homie laying in bed here. Um, it probably had a long day at work, I don't know. But let's go to another room right now. I can't remember who died in here, but. It was another owner, a man, and he was sick for a long time. He was on like, what is it called? When someone is like on their deathbed? Like he was pretty much like bedridden. I don't know if that's the name of it, like... I don't know. Hold on, I gotta set this down. I don't know if I'm, I'm tired, fatigued, or whatnot, but it feels like something's like reaching into my chest. My heart is pounding really hard, and I'm in a lot of pain right now. And it's not gas. Maybe you're feeling... Wow. There's pain from in here. Oh. It's the second I walked into this room, dude. Are you getting anything on that in here? Oh, <gasps> dude. What? What did you see? Oh, I saw something like right behind you. But I don't know, 
maybe it was that soldier, but this thing doesn't usually map out. It doesn't map out um, things. Um, like, is it mapping it out anything no. right now? Yeah. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. It's not mapping out that. It's sitting in that. It's hiding in the it's actual suit. It's hiding inside. That's what's going on here right now. It's hiding in the suit. Are you in there? Can you come out? It's not uncommon for spirits to hide in things, you know? You guys let me know in the comments below if you spotted anything, any type of orb, any type of light that we missed. About, like you kind of feeling how you felt. It like, it's, it's almost like it came up behind you or it left your body. I don't know, it was weird. That explains it because I do feel better right now. Like I don't feel- It came out of your body, bro. Something <sighs> low key possessed you for a few minutes. Okay, this is not good. Who's sleeping in this room tonight, you? <laughs> I don't know either. I got the green room. I got the most. I got the red room, which you guys haven't seen yet. And then there's the clown room, which you can literally pay to sleep in as well, which is insane. But check this out. Look at this creepy, creepy photo. I don't know who, who this was, but there are a lot of death photos. And what is that? What is that noise? I thought I heard something. There are a lot of death photos inside of this place. Um, where basically back in the old days when someone would die, they would somehow open their eyes or paint their eyes on and they would take photos of them dead. What is the one photo of like the three kids? It's in the bathroom where that haunted mirror is. Downstairs? No, I think it's in, in the clown. No, it wasn't. No, it? there is one in there, but she didn't know. I feel like it's a post-mortem picture. Let's go look at it. Oh, I don't like this. Like no, look at this, this mirror. Fucking mirrors, dude. Could be haunted for all we know. This could be a death photo over here, and I don't know what that is. That looks like some demon of some sort. Bigfoot. Very weird. What was that? Did you move? Was that you? Uh. -uh. It's like it's, it's walking over there somewhere. Walking. Something. Something's moving over there. So do you remember how Heather was telling us she had one night where she heard a loud bang, and yeah. she came down to the hallway and like like ten photos just flew off the walls. Was that in here? I think it was this hallway. Yeah, she had to bless it, she said. Yeah, she had to sage the whole house because she had a night where something came in, something really evil, and it started knocking photos and paintings off the wall. There are a lot of rooms in this house that we still haven't shown you guys, especially the basement. It's something to be marveled over. But this room right here, <laughs> come see this, guys. This is this is just beyond me. Like, I don't know, man. Like, is there any brighter lights? Look at this. There's. There's creepy doll. We got Raggedy Ann, first of all. There's this clapping monkey that apparently someone was sleeping in here, like a guest was sleeping in here. Because you could rent this place. Like, check this out. There's a bunk bed. And then there's all these dolls and clowns and... Oh my god, I didn't even see this earlier. Dude, look how old this is. Mickey Mouse? What? So somebody ran out of here. Somebody was sleeping in here and they couldn't take it. So they literally ran out of this Airbnb, or not an Airbnb, but it's a B&B, &B, a bed and breakfast. You got, that's a, remember? She told us that's a death photo, a baby that's dead. Well, I don't think she knew, but I feel like it is. Cause they would prop up bodies on- Wait a sec. Wow. Look, look at the eyes. I know the eyes are like weird. They're glow, but if you come over here to the left, they're not doing that. If you move, they're glowing. They're like, yeah, they're like this weird color. Dude, that thing is so creepy. Like, even the mask we saw, what the f was that? What? Something just moved over here. Hello? Something just. <gasps> oh! oh! What? what oh my that? god! Oh my god! The, the, did you just see that? Was it the curtain? Dude, the monkey! Look oh, at the monkey. The monkey? It just moved. I swear to God, I, th I saw it move. No. Nah. Oh, it opened his eyes. What? No clickbait? <gasps> oh! 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 <laughs> Dude, it moved his head. Hey, monkey? It's a chimp. Yo, Tom, my boy, are you in the monkey? What? There's no way. Oh. Touch it, touch it. Touch it. No. <laughs> hey. Oh. Hey. What is going on here? Dude, it's moving its head. It's moving its <gasps> head. What the hell's going on? Hello? Oh! 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 oh, my oh God. Bro, I fucking moved it. How is that happening? It just looked at me. 
You're kidding me. Dude, it's like winking. Bro, this thing is so creepy. This thing literally moved his head. And like... How's that happening though? Huh? Hey. Oh my hey. god. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Bro, this is creepy, what dude. What the hell? Okay, I'm just gonna leave this here. I, yeah. Like, what, what is going on in this house? UFOs, skinwalkers, gens, demons, spirits, shadow men. Did you read the chalkboard behind you? No, what? Read it. It even has the Lord's Prayer on it. Now I lay me down to sleep, I pray. Greystone my soul to keep if... Yeah, I don't speak English that well. <laughs> can't read that um anyways yeah this is a this is a really interesting room like there's so much going on here like i said we're gonna have to come back here and i really want to know what's going on with this monkey but for now we're just gonna move along because there's still so much more to look at there is i just got a major headache right now dude you okay oh i don't know i need to get out of this room is it because it feels like heavy in here uh it's not a it's not a heavy feeling this is a well, let's take a break if you need to. Is a heavy feeling. Yeah, maybe we should just take a break. This place is just on a whole another level of paranormal, man. See this painting? Did you hear that noise? Mm, it was like a door slam or something. I heard like a thump. I think it's still moving. Why is that monkey still freaking moving? Um, I don't think it wants us to leave. Dude, if it was like a sensor, it's one thing, but we're, we're literally out here. You know? This house, is, it, it, it creeps me out, but in a cool way, you know? Like, like I would sleep here, you know, like, I like it. <laughs> look at this strange photo. Like, it's this girl, and she has these spirits kind of, like, influencing her in a way. You know, you have, like, a, a spirit of anger, a spirit of sadness, a spirit of mysterious ways, I don't know, a spirit of laughter. It's just... It it's is really strange. interesting and it's yeah. really creepy, but what's creepier is this thing. What the hell is that? I don't know. It's like <laughs> weird stuff. Right? Like, what is this? Yeah, some demonic stuff. I don't know. I want to know. I mean, even these. Look at these photos. Is that the pumpkin man? No, that's something else. I've never seen anything like that before. This place is really interesting. There's so much stuff that, like, you need to come back here a few times to just to, like... How did we see. miss this? Oh, like there's some stuff like... Oh, there's like a whole thing full of like... Cl that, are those clowns? There's one clown in there. There's this dude over here. There's like old relics in there, bro. Whoa. And these are probably things that were found in this house, too. I guarantee you they are. Or at least on the property. Yeah. It's amazing. Like, not only do you have a haunted house that people died in, but then you have outside... Supposedly this woman's son died and she didn't want to <gasps> What the fuck was that? What the hell was that? Hold this. That, that came from in here. I think that was the movie. No, that was a doll. That was one of the dolls. But why, why is it moving? And why is it still doing that? Yeah, I wasn't doing that earlier when we came in here. Because, like, we came in here with Heather and we seen this room and nothing happened. We didn't even notice that thing there. It just keeps moving. It's just looking at me. Can you stop doing that? Go to sleep. What? Can you make that noise again? The I thought it was like a cat, but no, no, that came from in here. That's not like a mechanical cat. Yeah, it wasn't a, it was like a doll or something. What the fuck? I got that. We walked away and it did it again. It's only when we leave. I can't believe I just caught that. I started I heard something else right now in here. So do you remember what she told us about this room? No. If you close this door, oh yeah, it opens on its own somehow. They don't like the room, the door closed. Yeah, whatever spirit like, is in there. You can sometimes see the, the doorknob moving and everything in here. Going, can we test it out? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna close the door, monkey. Goodbye. Let us know how much you dislike this door being closed. Just, 
Okay, so that's how much force you have to put to open it. Open the door, monkey. Or something. I almost stand far away, too. I should have left a camera in there. <laughs> that's he's... a good idea. Right. Maybe you put your iPhone in there. Hey, monkey. Want to open the door? Is there a cat in there? No. I know Heather has some cats. She's got cats, but they're all in her bedroom. Or actually, the cats are downstairs in the living room, and her dogs are in the bedroom. But the door has not opened yet. I don't know why. Maybe it takes time. I don't know. We can sit here for a little bit. I mean, we got plenty of time. We're literally here all. <gasps> That wasn't me, bro. You can see how far I'm. Bro, I'm, the door. I, was, I was standing right here. Can you open that door all the way? There's no fucking way. Maybe you didn't have it closed all the way. You know. Dude, it was okay, but it was closed. You saw it closed, and it, and and you heard it was open. Was it closed all the way though? It was closed just like that. All right, come on. Open the door for us, or at least try. Why don't you turn that doorknob? Who's walking? Like you're walking to you. Yeah. Doesn't want to do it now. Okay, well we got it once. <laughs> This is so overwhelming. There's so much going on here. I, I guarantee you though, the moment we walk away, because it, as soon as we walked away over here, that's when we heard that moan. I'm keeping the camera. Aim like this. All right, is it gonna happen? What the hell was that? That was the doorknob, bro. It wiggled, just like she said. It makes a wiggling noise. Right when we left. Dude, I'm telling you, something wants us to stay in there. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it has nothing to do with the door being closed. It wants company. Oh, that stupid thing is still moving. It's still moving? Yeah. It's like sniffing. Now it's moving its nose. Hey, creepy monkey. Hi. You just kind of like shake his eyebrows at me. So weird. Can you like move your head again or, or meow or talk to me or something? Do something. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please tell me you're I didn't touch you, bro. Seriously, didn't seriously, touch you. you're not fucking with me. I didn't, I didn't like no. I'm serious. Let's do this. Yeah, let's sit in here. Let's wait for it. So usually Heather just stands out in the hallway and waits for it. Good idea. Close that closet. It creeps me out. Huh? Oh, oh shit. shit! What the fuck? Dude, it just—it just not moving. No, it's like it died. Look, it, it closed its eyes. Bro, it's right when we close both doors. Oh my god, you're right. She doesn't. They don't. The spirits here don't like it when you close the doors. So you close the closet, and that one. Well, that one closed itself. And then you ended up closing it off, right? I closed it all the way. Yeah. Because I don't think it closed all the way. And, and then, then I closed this one. And then when you did that. This one didn't close all the way, though. Look at its face, though. Look at look, look, look what it's doing with its face right now. Let me get my flashlight here. It's got its eyes closed. Hey, monkey. Are you alive? Hey. Dude, are you okay? How well, is that possible? What are the chances of that? Is right when we closed the doors, that thing let off this like, oh, the eyes just opened up again. No, no, they're closed. I just, I could have swore I saw them open again. <laughs> Dude, they're literally closed. <laughs> I've never in my eight years of doing this, or seven years of doing this, seen anything like this before. Bro, I want that monkey. <laughs> no, I don't chimp. want that monkey or chimp. <laughs> no way. I don't want any of these freaking dolls. Like they're all so creepy.
Like I said, we could spend all night just in that room, in this room. The only room we haven't shown you up here is the red room. This is where I'm sleeping tonight. And this room has a lot of paranormal activity happen in it. First things first, there is... <laughs> what is it? What did she tell us about this room? It's uh, just like that one house. Lizzie Borden. The Lizzie Borden? It has a, a vanity that looks just like the Lizzie Borden. It's identical to the oh. Lizzie to the Lizzie Borden vanity and uh, the way that that thing there is and so this is where I'm sleeping I'm sleeping in a room full of creepy mirrors can you take a wild guess what this is for um peeing and pooping I think yeah this was like their they used to put them under the bed and then like the sometimes the kids or if they had servants they would come and like clean it because you know we didn't we didn't have plumbing and bathrooms i mean we take things for granted this was their bathroom this was their bathroom. this it, was a sink yeah, for like they, washing their they face washed with this and they poopy and pee pee in that yeah exactly <laughs> you want to try it out sure <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well you already went the, to the bathroom be the bottom one you already went to the bathroom. that's probably why the spirits are really mad in here because omar already like destroyed the bathroom in this place Yo, so where that chimpanzee was across from it is the actual bathroom and it's huge yeah, I don't want to go in there. It's uh, You can probably see it on his channel, on his video. We've investigated a lot of this house. We've caught a lot of questionable things in here, but we've caught a lot of things that we actually see with our own eyes, like the stuff on the SLS cameras. This monkey business, like, what what the hell is this? Like, I've never experienced anything like that. And we still haven't even shown you guys the basement. The basement is so cool. There is something pretty morbid down there that you're not going to want to miss. <gasps> what? Bro. I just got an idea. Remember downstairs where those children, the, the picture of the dead children are? Yeah. What's right next to that? I don't remember. The haunted mirror. Oh shit. Don't you need a mirror to play Bloody Mary? You do. Why not have a haunted mirror? Fuck. To, I, it's, yeah. I don't hate mirrors. But that mirror, you, you need a mirror for Bloody Mary. You do, I mean, there's mirrors all in this room, right? No, 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 but this mirror. It's a real haunted mirror. It's a real haunted mirror. She, she got it as a gift from someone. It came from a haunted hotel in New York City. Yep. I think we should use that. All and right. she said that sometimes you'll see spirits. You can see it's a portal itself, the mirror. You can see things in the mirror. And sometimes in that bathroom, like people have to do a double take because they'll see a dark figure standing in that room. Let's do it. And that's where the wall is too. That wall that the spirits don't like. And you know, the, the dude that I seen standing in the kitchen, he didn't seem happy. Cause she said they don't want that wall to be put up, right? And he didn't seem happy yeah, about well, it. So we might right. actually get some angry spirits in here. So, all right, good thing she's a psychic. Yeah. We're literally doing this in a psychic cell. What the hell was that? Oh my God, I just saw that happen. Oh my God. Oh my God, I just saw, I just saw something literally lift her freaking hat off your head. Bro, my hat, something just, Flicked the hat. It literally off flicked the hat. Right like, now, actually, bro. what the hell? How? And this is where, where you feel the. Oh my god. Hey, hey. That was wide open. What? That was wide open. The bro. door. The door was wide open. What the f did that? Whatever did that? Something just touched my hat, bro. Oh, yeah, and whatever did that went in there. Look at the door. That was wide open when you walked out. And when I walked out. Are you okay? That was awesome. <laughs> That was awesome, <laughs> but it was f***ing terrifying because I like felt it. You know when somebody like goes like that to your hat? I felt that. But it looked like that to me. It looked like something like tipped it from Were the front. Were you filming that? Yeah, you might well, I was filming something. myself. I was filming myself and I was looking at you. Dude, something touched my hat. It, it was like a... Something touched my hat. It, it was like a. Something touched my hat. It, it was like a. Something touched my hat. It, it was like a. There's so much going on here. And it didn't fall off my head. Like you think it. Maybe wait. I was wearing my hat a little loose. Maybe it hey, fell if, off if, my head. No, 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 dude. I, it literally looked like something like flicked it off your head. Not if there's something here with us I right now, it. make something it. happen. Close the door. Make the light flicker or something. Can you make the light flicker for us? Dude, make my hat come off again. Here, I'll make it easy for you. That was awesome. Do it again, please. Come on, use your... They had to have a lot of energy to do that, bro. Oh. Yeah. 
Something just moved behind you, like on the staircase. Are you behind me? Hello? Did the lights just flicker? So cool, dude. Like, I'm scared. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm scared, especially with the monkey business. But at the same time, this is really cool. Like, it's different. No one's ever done a proper investigation. I mean, people have done investigations here, but when we do investigations, we go to the extent of like using our gear and tech, and we stay the whole night. And we're just getting so much. And keep in mind, we've done so many investigations and been on so many paranormal adventures that. Like things are attracted to us, you know what I mean? Oh, or magnets for this, bro. Magnets. Okay, so you know that this ceiling was supposed to be a horse track because they were real big into horses. Back then, there's an actual horse track out back. Literally, li literally looks like a uh, an actual like race track. Yeah. Pretty cool. All right, guess you don't want to touch my head again. I think it's time we went downstairs, talked to Bloody Mary. Been a while since I summoned her. We're gonna go down, switch to night vision, because we're gonna be in the dark, and we're gonna be looking directly into that mirror. I'm just, I'm just gonna document it. Like I ain't doing it. Oh, you're not gonna say it with me? Nah. Okay, you gotta say it with me. Nah. You gotta say it with me. Oh, lights are flickering. Oh, I see it. Vaguely. Oh yeah, Bloody Mary does not want to come out today, but she's gonna come out. For the record, it wasn't the cats that were moving around because cat one is sleeping, cat two is sleeping, and the third cat over there, that one's sleeping too. So none of them are okay. awake and walking around. Even the dog is sleeping up there. So like yeah. they are knocked out. They are, they, they really they are. Bro. I think this cat died. Yeah, honestly, is it, it's not moving. Cause it was coughing weird earlier and then like laid on his back in a weird way. That's so cute. What's that red thing on it? All right, so this door behind me right now is where the basement is. We've been down there, but we haven't filmed down there. So no. we're gonna go downstairs together cause it is really, really scary down there. So I don't wanna go down there alone. Hey, before we go down there, I gotta show you something. Here, hold my camera. Hey, pretty lady, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> He's getting knocked out by a nun. <laughs> is that a nun? I think it is. Is it a nun? <laughs> she gonna knock you out. She oh. gonna numb you out. Oh man, she gonna numb you out. So we are currently in the basement and it looks like a movie set. Like it's so surreal. There's just so much going down here. You guys are gonna have to excuse my energy because it's like literally, like what time is it? It's, uh, it's 1.30 a.m. right now and here. Yeah. This is the part where I follow you into this Come creepy, creepy basement. Rub my crystal ball. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. <laughs> All right, we, we, we joke around, guys. We joke around behind the scenes, okay? Don't be mad. Don't be mad. We're friends. Friends do that. They joke around. <laughs> um, so th it's really cool. This place has a gift shop. If you ever come here, this is like Narnia to me. Like It's like a whole other world. It's a gift shop. Oh, I thought those were mirrors. I didn't even see the gift shop. No, this is an actual gift shop, dude. Oh, cool. You can buy stuff here. Nice. It's pretty interesting. It's like you go from this like creepy haunted house and it's like Christmassy over here. You're in like a whole movie set. There's this dude here, the gingerbread man, whatever this thing is. But wow. yeah, if you come come to the Greystone Manor, guys, go, go check out the gift shop. Get her book, by the way, too. She's got a book, a really cool one. She actually gifted us two books. You can find them on Amazon. But this right here is one of the coolest rooms in this basement. Um, there's some stuff that happened to us here while we were doing Omar's video, but you guys can watch it on his. I'm not gonna show it here or tell you guys, but look at this. Maybe we'll have something completely different happening here. Dude, you turn off the music. How'd it turn back on? Is it on? Wait. Where's the music coming from? Where's that music coming from? That wasn't there when we were filming or yours. No, so there was a radio on that was in here. Yeah, that it one. It, on. it turned on by itself. But this is coming from somewhere. Where is that?
Don't tell me it's that freaking record player upstairs. No. It's coming from like here. It's like behind the walls. Yeah. Is there like a secret room here? Listen. Dude, there's a secret room back there. It's like classical music or something. Yeah, and we haven't heard that all night. Like, actually. That's upstairs, bro. We have the whole basement. There's no secret room back there. Where could it be? Something moved in here. You know what that is? That's the gift shop, bro. You think so? Yeah. But that wasn't going off earlier. There's music in there going off. And it's locked. We can't get in there. Yeah, see, it's locked. Dude, when we came down here with her earlier, we never went in the gift shop. It no. was locked, but there was no music. So the music in the gift shop turned itself on. That means we have an entity in there. Look, there's a radio right there. Is that what's on? Where? You see straight ahead by that chair? There's like a radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause look, come, come on my side. You can see the red, the redness, like the red moving up and down. Yeah. That radio turned itself on. Bro, what are the? Look, it's locked. Look at this. Look, it's locked. We ain't got a key yeah, to get in there. Yeah, you can't get in. It's, it's actually locked. She actually offered to take us in there earlier too. We we're like, nah, that's cool. We should have went in there. So yeah, this is the creepy basement, guys. Um, <laughs> there's so much going on in this house. Like, there's been so much paranormal activity here. Just walking through here, you're in a movie set. It's weird, right? Um, and if you do like end up renting out like rooms here for the night, you get access to this pool room and uh, this coffin, a real coffin that actually had people in it at one point in time. And Tabitha, I named her Tabitha. You can go and check her out. But yeah, there's a coffin in here that actually had bodies at some point in time. And uh, there's even body juice inside of the casket. Yeah, and Omar looked at it earlier. I did for a thousand dollars. Let's go back to the investigation. Let's go up to the bathroom with the haunted mirror and try to call out Bloody Mary. We're about to do this. We're about to call out Bloody Mary in a psychic's house. So if you ever come to the Greenstone Manor, find my name up here, take a photo of it. And make sure to send it to me. I'll tag me on Instagram. I'll give you a like. If you guys ever come here, make sure to screenshot this. Or not screenshot it. Take a photo of it and send it to me. It's really late. Not only are we about to do the Bloody Mary challenge, where we just basically call out the Bloody Mary and see if anything happens. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. Exhausted. But we're doing it in night vision. Maybe this will wake us up. <laughs> it's either going to wake us up or it's going to kill us. I don't know. Let's do it. And we're doing this in complete darkness, right next to photos of dead kids. Oh man. You wanna close that door all the way? <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, so we have a haunted mirror right in front of us over here. Um, I'm not gonna aim my camera at it because it's just gonna blind us. So basically the trick is to stand in front of a mirror and just look at yourself for a sec. Look at yourself. How creepy is that? Right? Pitch black in here. It's pretty creepy. Oh, except for the nightlight. Let's turn off this nightlight. Hold on. Now it's pitch black. Are you gonna do it with me? I can't see nothing. Yeah, I can't like, see. Like, are we even looking at the mirror? It's, yeah, I can see there's a bit of a little reflection from the camera. Here we go, Bloody Mary 10 times. All right. Bloody, Bloody Mary, Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Do wait. Look into your own eyes as you're saying that. Like, come closer to look into your own eyes and see how scary that is as I'm... All right, here we go. Bloody Mary, 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 it's so scary. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Come play with us. As you're saying that, I feel like dizzy. Like, do you feel dizzy? I feel dizzy. I feel dizzy too. Like, uneven. Yeah. To be off. I don't know if this is whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're alright. You're alright. Dude, it's like something was pull, pull, 
people are putting, pushing putting, you? Putting, I can't even talk. They're putting weight on me. What? Pulling me backwards. I feel so heavy right now. I feel really heavy. Okay. That might have been me. Put your hand here right now. Put your hand here. Put your hand where my hand is. What do you feel? Cold air. A f***ing cold. Real cold. Real cold air. Yeah. Right here by the door. It's super cold. It's like maybe 20 degrees colder right there. Oh my god. It's like it's like someone put an air conditioning right here. There's something here too. How do we end it? We got, I don't want to like, continue this any longer. Like It's kind of weird. How do we end it? I don't know. Bloody Mary, go home. Go back into the mirror. Goodbye. Goodbye 10 times, I guess. Goodbye. Let's say goodbye. Yeah, yeah, let's just say goodbye. Let's just say goodbye. This is weird. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Bro, behind you! Behind you! What the fuck? What? What? What's Dude, there was a big black shadow right behind you right now. Look in the mirror. Like here? Is it still there? I mean the mirror or like where where? No, I saw it in the mirror. Dude, it was huge. Goodbye, goodbye, Bloody Mary. It goodbye. wasn't you, bro. No. That was not you. No, let's just end it. Let's just end it. Goodbye, Bloody Mary. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Don't follow me home. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. That was like something different, man. Like we've had paranormal before, but this was not like different. It was way different. It felt like every room. Came... It was like a different vibe in every room. But it felt like every room came to life. Everywhere you step comes to life. Like you go to the backyard, there's something living there. You go to the bedrooms, there's something alive there. You go down the stairs, there's something there. It's weird. And that's one of the main reasons why I, I did not want to sleep here. Like I got really scared, especially after doing Bloody Mary. That was probably a stupid idea. I'm probably going to regret that tonight, um, even at your house, because Bloody Mary probably going to follow us. Nah, we need to leave it right here and say a prayer. We're going to say a prayer. Go follow Omar, his link. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were saying Bloody Mary to go follow me. <laughs> no, no, no. Go, no, don't follow Omar. Go follow Omar's <laughs> YouTube. And uh, that was interesting. Like, dude, it's 3 a.m. and we still got an hour and a half drive. Oh, man. Hey, if you guys come here to visit, make sure to mention Mo Sarji or Omar Gosh TV that we sent you here because this place is awesome. Probably one of my new favorite places. We're going to be back. We're definitely going to be back. Tell yeah. Heather we sent you guys and they're going to take good care of y'all. Love y'all. Be a do. Stay positive. And I'll see you on the next one.